Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one question that came to mind uh, from a few viewers is about ARM and um, what's the difference between Windows on ARM and what is ARM exactly. And uh, the traditional PC running on what we call x86 or x64. So we're going to try to explain this simply in a very simple way, because this is the channel for simple explanations of complex things. So there are different types of processors out there, or, or the brains of our electronic devices run in different ways. The PC or computers running Windows in general have always, or most of them have always been what we call x86 or x64 now for 64-bit processors, but they are Intel, they are AMD, um, and they are based on something that is a complex instruction set computing. That's the basics of Intel processors and AMD processors. So AMD, Ryzen's, and Intel are compatible because they essentially do the same thing, work in the same way with minor variations, of course. So they run the instructions and can run multiple instructions at the same time, running Windows, running all the apps that you have in Windows, and so on. Now, there's another type of processor. Actually, there are more than one, but we're going to focus on the one that Windows can also run on, which is ARM. So Qualcomm, the company that makes the ARM processors, has its own brains, its own CPUs. Now, they are different. They don't work in the same way. And ARM processors are more of a type called reduced instruction set computing. Although, over time and with the newer processors, the line between both processors is kind of blurred. But... The main difference is, is that they're not compatible and they don't work in the same way. So the code that is made to run Windows needs to be modified if it has to be run on ARM. It cannot run natively on ARM because it actually uses instruction sets that are uh, you know, Intel or uh, AMD chips or x86, x64. So ARM processors are very popular. Uh, where do you find these types of processors? Pretty much on every smartphone on the planet. Your smartphone works with ARM, an ARM, a, you know, a variation of an ARM processor. Not only Qualcomm makes them, some have their own uh, ARM-based processors. Uh, Samsung, for example, uh, Samsung will have its own variation of an ARM processor. Um, Apple, Apple's M1 processor and soon to be released M2 are also variations of ARM processors made by Apple. And of course, these variations make these processors different. Although they are similar, there is key differences because they will be uh, constructed to work in a way that the company will want. That's why some companies take over the ARM architecture and create their own processors for their own devices makes it easier and more compatible. So Windows does have a version that runs on ARM, and that means the code under the Windows version is different because it has to run on a different processor in a different way with different instructions. So that version of Windows will not run on x86 or x64, so it doesn't run on Intel, but it will run on ARM. What are the key differences between ARM and the standard processors we use in PCs from Intel and AMD? One is made mostly for um, power efficiency. You know, ARM processors use a lot less power to achieve the same um, you know, instruction set to achieve the same goal of running your PC at a cost. The cost is that it's slower because it often cannot run multiple commands at the same time, like an x86 or x64. And that also is why Windows is running so slow. Now, that said, it's not because it's ARM that it's like that. It's because 
the ARM architecture from Qualcomm, for example, has not yet reached the level that um, the performance of Intel CPUs, for example, will give. But Intel CPUs use a lot more power. So the reason why we would like to have Windows on ARM is because of a very long battery life promise compared to the standard PCs of today. The problem is, of course, everything needs to be compatible. So Windows on ARM has a kind of a uh, virtual mode, if you want, that can run x86 and eventually x64 apps uh, by emulating Intel. But remember that when you try to emulate something else with a CPU, it slows down once again. Uh, the difference with M1, uh, Apple's processor is that not only did the uh, processor, um, you know, it's custom made, so it's really custom made to run as fast as possible, but also the operating system has been modified to use it as efficiently as possible. Where Windows, even though it tries to, um, it's still a big software, a big, you know, bunch of code that is running normally on a processor that runs multiple code at the same time. So that's the main difference is they are two different brains that talk two different languages and that simply are not exactly as efficient as the other. But one is good for extended battery life on laptops, for example. That's why Apple wants to have the M1. The other one is good for performance. As fast as we can, we do something at the cost of much higher power consumption. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.